One spoon, 69 hours. On that island, can I survive? I'm alive, I have my spoon, 69 hours, no food, no water, no shelter, and I'll be in the Everglades, home to crocodiles, pythons, gators, panthers, mosquitoes, and brutal storms, which would conveniently hit my island in the next three hours. So shelter is top priority. I gotta drag these like a mile and a half. Setting up these shots is so fun and awesome. Strong men, great good times. Good times create weak men. Clouds though are coming in slowly but surely. That looks perfect right here. Yep. I do need to hustle because the hours are ticking away. 2 p.m. through 8 p.m. It's gonna rain, it looks like. And I need to build my shelter before that happens. Come on, Tyler, pull! No one's coming to save you, Tyler. Let's go. Who's gonna carry the boat? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Finally! I just broke my back for this piece of wood. I can feel a little bit of rain. It's been only five, six hours out here and I'm already dying of thirst. Pretty sure I can go like 48 hours without water and then I die. This lack of water is fucking me up. We have the clouds right there. That looks like a mini tornado over there. Could be bad, bad. I'm gonna use this wood to build a shelter and then estimate how much brush I need for a roof. But dehydrated and ignorant, building a shelter with a few dead logs on this island was harder than it looked. This is not how I imagined it. And it looked like I was too late. The storm had begun. Yeah, it's raining. Oh, snap. With an incomplete shelter, the storm rained harder while I got wetter and colder. Hypothermia was a legitimate concern. Throw the drinkable water in here now. Yeah. Well, I got a bunch of water. I'm super fucking cold. Ugh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need to find some sort of refuge. I mean, this is not terrible. Now I get why shelter's number one in the survival priority list. And in a rare Tyler L moment, I quit after seeing this in the distance. All right, a full on storm's coming this way. Ooh, this, ooh, this spoon, ooh, the weather, and ooh, this island too. There's my escape route. I need to go home. All right, let's get the out of here. And I left like a little bitch. Ooh. But it was the biggest regret of my life. I flew all the way back to Texas. I'm watching this footage and I'm just infuriated that I quit. I'm in existential rage right now. I I'm just so disappointed in myself right now. Because the entire reason I did this video was to redeem my past self who failed this challenge exactly two years ago. Granted, this time I only had a spoon, but what kind of man am I if I can't keep even my word to myself? I think I need to get on a flight and go back right now. I'm not kidding. Everything's right there still. We go back. Ticket secured, on route to hell. Beep. I had to redeem myself, no matter the cost. Thank you. My day of redemption has come. Bob, whatever you do, do not pick me up in the next three days. Never. We push onwards. It's already raining and we haven't even gotten there. Storm brewing in the distance. The gods do not want me to do this. But the gods were no match for my ego. I had to do this. Even with a storm brewing right as I came in. <laughs> there she is. Land of redemption and opportunity. We made it alas. And this time, I brought some emergency water just in case. All right, Bob, 69 hours and you come back. Bye, Bob! I really just spawned mid-storm out here. Once it clears up, we need to get fire, shelter, and stay dry. And then hopefully I won't get hypothermia tonight. Sunset and a storm is in three hours, so I need more brush, need to waterproof my shelter, and pray to the gods the raccoon doesn't assault me tonight. All right, let's build a shelter. I'm gonna start chopping away at this branch. This is gonna be critical for my shelter. The spoon is not sharp enough. I have an idea. I'm gonna try to sharpen one side of the spoon to turn it into a blade. Let's try it now. Okay, actually, it looks like it's, it's catching. Almost there. Let's go, spoon. Woo! Let's go! We had a nice chunk for the shelter. Let's do it again. So I kept chopping away, murdering this invasive plant species with my now deadly spoon. Couple more to go. Another one. And another one. Let's see if this works. The roof is here. Let's finish the shelter if possible. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? Nice. Reinforce this side. W. This should be enough. Oh my God, a hornet. Oh my God, there it is. <laughs> Let's finish this. Ugh. 
Nice. Almost fully waterproof. I'm gonna use this rope I found in the beginning of my scout to tie the top of the roof together and secure all the sticks. Sometimes I impress myself, folks. All right, look at that. I think we have a shelter. Let's see how I fit. I mean, yeah, snug as a bug. Wow, this is actually really cool. This is like two days straight of combined labor. Kind of protected from the elements and bugs, maybe. Both theories will be tested tonight. It's time to start a fire now before nightfall. The sun is setting. I do not have as much time as I would have liked. I'm gonna borrow this wood, this log, my spoon, and this rock. And smack this spoon into this rock until a spark flies into the kindling, igniting this flame into a fully fledged fire. Dang, this is like coral. It's not a real rock. And my technique's bad, but we definitely need a better rock. This thing is trash. I don't need food right now. I need a rock to start a fire and to keep the mosquitoes and all the creatures away. Time lapse. Could this be a rock? It's a clamshell. Is that a rock? It's coral. Bro, I've been looking everywhere. I cannot find a rock. The sun's actually setting right now. We need to find this rock. I was reaching my breaking point looking for this stupid rock. No water, no food, and minimal sleep. I was genuinely losing my mind out here. Hey, little buddy, where are the rocks at? They don't have any rocks? They, they ran out of rocks? I was descending into manic behavior. It's hard to survive out here all alone without our favorite survival guide, Dan. It's almost like he's hanging out with another YouTuber you might know. So I, I came out here myself, of course. I hear a little woodpecker sound effect. I hear something beating the shit out of something else. Oh! Holy mother of God. Oh, foul beast. The sun is truly setting faster than I would have hoped. We need to get back now. With the sun going down and no rock in my hand. I was about to go into the night with no fire protecting me from dangerous bugs and other island creatures that wanted a piece of my meat. All right. I'm back, but with no rock. Now all the nocturnal creatures come out. Let's see if I can survive the night. Right, the sun's gone. I hear the crows, cicadas, and my own breath. This is super eerie out here. I feel like impending doom is coming my way. I don't like this. It's time to go to sleep and hopefully not get assaulted by raccoons tonight. Good night, island. I'm going to sleep. But 10 hours into my second attempt, the sun was gone and the nocturnal predators had finally awoken. I can't fall asleep and I'm convinced that there are raccoons out there. So I'm gonna take my spoon and go explore the nighttime area. We're doing this. Come here, raccoons. Let's see what else we can find. I heard something. Oh, hell no. That is not my print. But there's definitely something out here. There's definitely- ah! What the what f just happened? Holy shit. I don't know what that was. I felt something touch me and I literally just freaked. I need to keep this headlight on in case anything attacks. Bro, I don't want to go any further. Okay, I'm not- oh, Holy f just bug, just bug. Okay, I think those are raccoon prints. Okay, this, this. I'm getting the heck out of here. I hear an ominous chirp. Dude, that dude is creepy. That is scary. What the fuck is that? This. I'm out, I'm out. We're not doing this anymore. <laughs> I hate this. Oh okay, yeah, that's enough exploring. I don't think there are any raccoons super close to me. That's all I need to know. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm getting eaten alive right now. I'm trying to go to sleep, but I just can't. Okay, the sun has risen. Uh, I'm awake. I was getting bit at by mosquitoes all night. These bug bites are everywhere. Almost 24 hours in, 8.30 a.m. Weather looks good today. I could have had some better sleep. Hunger is starting to set in a little bit. I think it's time to get to work. Get some food so my stomach stops growling and survive the night again. Let's get to work. Look what I found this morning. Two perfect little raccoon paw prints. Look at this. I wouldn't be surprised to see a raccoon jump at me. And then this. Look at that. That. This. They are definitely out here. And I do not like this. But with no food for 24 hours straight, I decided to hunt anything I could find. Starting with crabs. Oh my god. Boy, little big boy. <laughs> big boy. Big boy. Yeah, clap. Who wants death by spoon, huh? Don't f with me. Literally crabs everywhere. Then, even the birds. I'm gonna strike it. Oh, almost got him. Give me your damn meat, you bitches! I will eat these 
few birds if I have to. I haven't had any luck hunting for food out here, so I'm gonna use this plant app, scan every plant on this entire island until I find something that is edible, and then I will eat it. Snap a photo of this. Tarragon mugworts, can I eat it? Okay, if I ate this, it would've caused an allergic, never mind. Not edible, not edible. Nope, 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 no, no, and no. Nothing out here is edible. I feel the hunger, I'll admit. I'm just gonna try to hunt fish and eat them raw. Sushi style. Let's see a little fish in here too. Ooh, little fishies. All right, let's try to catch a fish with the spoon. Good old fashioned spoon hunting, boys. I don't think anyone's ever done this, but let's give it a shot. Gators, Crocs, and Python. Let's see what we got. Yo, what is that? Oh! <laughs> what the f is that? What the f is that? Holy s! Oh my god! The ocean period, honestly. The spoon itself, bad at fishing. But what about a spoon spear? I'll take this. I'm gonna borrow this roof rope. Now let's try to tie this together. This is looking tight. Okay, this actually looks pretty effective. I can probably just go in and go bam, bam, bam. Okay, not as effective as I would have hoped. All right, if I see anything, I'm striking. Come on, baby. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm a lucky man. Notwithstanding, the spoon spear does not work, but it was a cute idea. Ain't no way, tiny fish. Oh, this video, dude. Fuck God, fuck, fuck this island, and fuck this video. I'm gonna try the fling technique. I'm literally just gonna launch the spoon at whatever I see. Gotta move. There's a fish, bro. What? I literally just lost my spoon somewhere down. Not my spoon. Out of all things, the spoon's gone. I'm, I'm over this. I lost my spoon and I simply do not want to be here. I hate islands more than anything at this point. But after taking a massive dump to disrespect the island on my way out, I had no way of surviving any longer and shamefully called Bob to pick me up. There he is. I'm gonna load up. Thanks for picking me up, Bob. I got back on the plane as miserably as I entered the first time and vowed that if this video got 300,000 likes, I would survive one full week using only a spoon. You, the cult, will choose where I go do it.